guys, this is going to be a very short video, but I just want to say that um, I'm getting some technical advice next month. So, so far, this has been like a one man operation. And next month, I'm hoping to get some technical help, in particular with the um, Patreon page, which is like, I, th I think that if you actually use the Patreon page to its fullest potential, it's like doing two YouTube channels. And as you know, the volume of work that I have committed to is to do a daily upload. Now, when I committed to that, I had no idea how much was involved with that. I thought that eventually everything would go really fast and that I could, you know, do what I needed to do and then go and chill somewhere. Sometimes I found myself with hours of editing because I keep thinking of things and ways to make it better and, oh, if I could just find that photo or that video. And I like the results of it. As a matter of fact, I love the results of it. And so when I'm done with some of the videos, I'm actually very impressed myself and I was there because I look at how far I've come from the early days of the videos and it just motivates me to do more. But by doing that, I have neglected the Patreon page. So hopefully when I get some help next month, we can improve the Patreon page and that way to look like somebody actually has done something of quality to the page instead of, you know, my lack of quality with the page. That being said, I do appreciate all of the contributions that I have received from the Patreon and I try to reply to those whenever possible. And so in the spirit of that, I have to say this, that one of the messages I got from Patreon, I received from someone who was very concerned about the comment section and how there has been an attempt by the trolls to hijack the Royal Sussex comments. And so please try not to engage and argue with these people because I do go through the comments and you guys know I put a lot of hearts on the comment. I don't answer them all because that would be a lot of work and it would consume a lot of valuable time that I could actually use someplace else on the channel. So I at least put a heart or some emojis and occasionally I do comment so that at least you know that I'm looking at it. And so when I'm doing that, it's also because I am hunting the trolls. And the trolls are slippery as eels. They're very elusive and they know how to play the game. And what they depend upon is your moral outrage to feed them. And then they disappear and then they come back and they know whose buttons they can push. You're not going to win an argument with these people because they have already decided to err on the other side and that's just the fact so as you see I never argue with them as a matter of fact sometimes I like to comment and then I block them <laughs> but I have blocked dozens of people every month and some of them find their way back and others do not but as someone has pointed out bearing your videos don't even upload and already you got like four people that dislike the video yeah I always have four people Sometimes more that will dislike the video, but usually it's four that dislike the video before it's even fully uploaded. We're still like in the uh, live chat and I'm getting dislikes, which is cool because at least they're watching the video. But if I were doing just one or two videos a week, then yes, I would have more time to devote to the Patreon. Uh, but because I'm doing like a video every day and for some weird reason that's what I have committed to do, then it doesn't leave me a lot of time for the Patreon. So, you know, and maybe at some point I will decide to go to every other day or maybe twice a week or something like that. But so far I've, I've just been trying to build the channel and at the very least so that a lot of us who care about the Sussexes deeply will have some place to go every day a common ground and so seeing you guys in the live chat that's our community or part of our community and when we're in the other live chats that's also part of our community so 
I'm glad to be able to do that, and I hope to continue to do that. But I know that the Patreon needs attention because, well, I mean, there's people that support me with the Patreon, with the Cash App, and also with the Pi Pay Pi Pal, <laughs> with the PayPal. And so um, I try to reply to everyone whenever I get direct comments from any of the other ways that I get the comments and with the comments from the videos themselves the YouTube comments I go in there and I've flooded with hearts just so that you know that I've been there but I don't reply to every one of them but mostly I am hunting trolls so thank you once again to the mod squad because the moderators have been kicking butt when it comes to the troll patrol and um, by the time I get to it a lot of times I never see any trolls and I'm just like, wow, either we don't have a lot of trolls or the Mod Squad has got them. Well, I know it's the Mod Squad because when I go into the portion of the YouTube uh, menu that only the creator can see, I can see a lot of people that have had their comments deleted or blocked. And so I can see those comments. I don't disagree with any of it. Um, the moderators have done a, a, a fantastic job to the point which most videos I never see the trolls but when I do I um, I take care of them so the way that you can help is just try not to engage with them and perhaps they'll go away I mean they'll keep trying of course because that's what they do but eventually they'll go away but we can't let them take over the comments of Royal Sussex and someone told me early on, they said, well, you should let people argue because that can help to grow your channel. But I don't want that. If if um, that was a channel that I wanted, then I would have a completely different kind of channel. And I can never do that. Um, I don't want that kind of negativity in my day. So I would rather us to just try to avoid the trolls. And hopefully, even if they never go away, they don't have as much flesh to feed upon. So do this. Go to the community page and you'll discover that I have placed the link to the um, Gossip with Celebrity. I don't even want to say the name of it, but it's green. <laughs> okay, it's Celebrity. Ce I can't say it. Celebrity. 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 Anyway, celebichi. Celeb. Celeb. See what I get for making fun of the Duchess of Cambridge? Anyway, they are Sussex friendly. So don't look in the links. Go to the community page and you'll find it there. And uh, this is what it looks like. They are very Sussex friendly. And they are a hoot to listen to. And you'll enjoy it. One reason why I wanted to make sure that I promoted this channel, they only have 623 subscribers. For the incredible work that they're doing, I think that they should have more subscribers and I hope you guys will subscribe. I um, have subscribed myself and I've only listened to two of their podcasts, so if you guys find out any inconsistencies about the Sussexes, Please let us know. But right now, I think they are the good guys. I'll just say that. And if they're not, then um, let everybody know. Okay? So check them out. <laughs> you know what? I first saw this on Twitter. Someone on Twitter pointed it out. And, of course, I had to go and investigate. And what did I find? It's true. They had a story in... Hello Magazine, Duchess Camilla wows in waist-cinching dress and over-the-knee boots for a new appearance. Why is she wearing over-the-knee boots? And as for waist-cinching dress, I guess that's just a matter of opinion. <laughs> that would imply that there's actually a waist there in the first place. Now... <laughs> They do have something I call the Camilla cut, where everything she wears kind of flares out like a Christmas tree. And 
This dress that she has on is no exception. She always has some type of... I don't even know what type of what it is, but... <laughs> But whatever it is, she's rocking it. Camilla is rocking the Camilla flared out look. Even that dress that she wore to the movie premiere also had that kind of flared out appearance to it. I call it the Camilla flare. She just kind of has a silhouette that is very much uh, reminiscent of the praying mantis. And that's our Camilla. But let's get back to this. The over-the-knee boot? Why? Why are you wearing an over-the-knee boot? See, whatever... I mean, because you, you look at her. She's got on black leather gloves. She's got on some black suede knee-high boots. I'm telling you, whatever that outfit breaks away into... <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it to you like this. Probably only Charles could appreciate it. But I'm sure that that outfit is lined with Velcro. And then it morphs into something frightful. And yet probably a bit amusing. But that's for them to figure out. Anyway, I hope I have not spoiled your supper by giving you this visual of the Duchess of Cornwall in thigh-high boots. But remember... I didn't bring it up first. <laughs> that was our friends at Hello Magazine. That's it for now. Please like, subscribe, share, donate, etc. If you would like to make a donation and you don't know how, to help support this channel, you can go to the comments section where you can find links to the Patreon, the PayPal, and the Cash App. Thanks for watching Royal Sussex.